Hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome to An Academy Cat for MBA and welcome to today's session. This is our third session of vocabulary and in this session we are going to talk about synonyms. All right. So before we begin with the session, let me quickly tell you about myself. My name is Apurva Apurva Rishpande. I have completed my masters in English. I have been teaching English for over seven years now, and I have also qualified uh, some Cambridge University exams. Okay. So in this session, we are going to talk about synonyms, everyone. Now, when we talk about synonyms. How many questions do we expect of synonyms in the exam? So, if we talk about the vocabulary section, there are around eight to twelve questions. Okay, around. Now, which question exams are we talking about? We are talking about exams like SNAP, NMAT, MAT, IIFT, okay, CET. So, these exams around eight to twelve questions based on vocabulary. Out of which you can expect around four to five questions based on synonyms. So in this session, we are of course going to solve a lot of questions based on synonyms, about thirty questions, and we will also get to know a lot of new words. Okay. On top of it, I am also going to tell you some really quick and easy tips to remember those words. Okay. So uh, be ready with with your notebooks and pens, everyone, so that you can make notes during our session. And even if you miss some part, even if you miss uh, taking some notes, you don't have to worry about it at all because you will find all the material of this session on Telegram. So you just need to follow us uh, at Cat for MBA on Telegram, and you'll get the material for this session. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel that is An Academy uh, Cat for MBA, so that every time a new video comes, you will be able to see it. Okay. uh you should also take up the an academy subscription everyone as all of you know there are only 5 months to go now so you need to gear up with your preparation and what better way to do it right so if you look at these plans the one year plan of an academy you get it in 15750 rupees and the two year plan is priced at 18900 rupees so this is a very good deal okay you do not have to go out all you have to do is just be home and open the app and start learning on the app okay so for the you if you apply this code when you are taking up the subscription apurva this is my code you will get a 10% off okay so please don't let go of this deal and subscribe today all right now let's begin with our session as i said we are going to talk about synonyms so let's first talk about what are synonyms synonyms are basically words with the same meanings or similar meanings so sometimes the meanings are not exactly the same but they are sort of similar even those are synonyms um uh, i as i said i'm going to talk about some strategies to learn synonyms okay and these strategies not only synonyms but overall when you're trying to improve your vocabulary these strategies will be extremely helpful okay now many times it happens everyone that um, you know when we are watching a movie an english movie or when we are watching a series or maybe if you are reading a comprehension passage or if you are reading an article or a story you come across new words okay and you want to know the meaning of those new words so what do we usually do we try to look up those words on the internet and you know we just look at the first definition that we have the meaning and that's it okay so we usually miss the really important part of it which is the synonyms and antonyms which are mentions just below the meaning or the definition okay so that is going to be the first strategy do not miss the synonyms and antonyms that are mentioned just below the meaning when you check meanings on the internet so i'll just give you an example okay so these are the notes that i have made when i checked up this word on the internet so the word is sagacious okay it is an adjective and this is the meaning that showed up so this is the meaning that i got so sagacious is somebody who has or shows keen mental discernment and good judgment okay wise or shrewd so uh, i sort of got the meaning okay but the moment i looked at these similar words and the opposite words which were just mentioned below take a look at these words okay so these words were just mentioned below the meaning 
wise, clever, intelligent, I immediately understood the word. Okay, so when I knew that, okay, sagacious means somebody who is intelligent, sagacious means somebody who is clever, I was absolutely clear about the meaning. So this is the first use of checking up the synonyms and antonyms when you check up the word. Because uh, sometimes when the you know longer meaning is not clear to you by looking at these words you will understand the meaning perfectly okay and plus what happens is now see uh, actually I have not mentioned all the words which were there I have just selected a few words so in the list of similar words I also came across this word okay so I did not know this word so I got to know that, okay, sagacious and astute are similar. Astute also means somebody who is sharp, who is clever, okay? So this happens, everyone, okay? In the process of knowing one new word, you get to know at least four or five new words, okay? So remember this tip. Whenever you check meanings of words on the internet, please take a look at the similar words and the opposite words which are mentioned just below the meaning. That is an extremely useful practice, okay? Now, here's my second tip. You know, usually students ask me how to remember the words for a longer period of time and how to remember words quickly. Okay, now what happens is we try to usually just remember the word and its meaning. So if I memorize, okay, sagacious means intelligent or sagacious means wise, I perhaps remember it for a couple of days and after that it will just, you know, vanish. I'll forget it. But if I use it in a sentence, okay, if I relate it with something that I know very well, I, it is more likely that I'll remember it for a long time. For example, uh, I can say that my father, my grandfather was a sagacious person, okay, he was a wise person. So I know how my grandfather was, how his personality was, and I have related this word to something with something that is very familiar to me. Okay, so this kind of an association works extremely well. So when you're learning new words, okay, even if they are adjectives, verbs, nouns, try to think of something which is very familiar to you. It could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be a movie or, you know, some event in a movie uh, and try to relate it to that and you will be able to remember those words very quickly. You will be able to use them in your own sentences and you will remember them for a longer period of time. Okay, so try this trick, everyone. Okay, let's go ahead. As I said, now we are going to start with the exercise, okay? And we are just going to uh, do like three questions at a time uh, so that we can have a quick revision every time we finish these three questions. And I'll also tell you how to remember these words that we've discussed, okay? Here's the first one. So the first word is affluent. Okay, so in India, we have a lot of affluent families like, you know, the Tatas and the Billas and the Ambanis. What could it mean, everyone? So this word means wealthy. Affluent is somebody who has a lot of money, who is very rich. So wealthy. Okay, I think these, the other words in the options, you are quite familiar with them. So we are not going to discuss them. So we are going to start with easier words. And as we go ahead, we are going to move to difficult words. Okay, now the second one is shallow. Shallow is something that is not very deep. So this is the correct answer, superficial. So if you try to relate shallow and narrow, okay, there is absolutely no relation. <clears throat> shallow and deep are related, but then deep is the opposite. Okay, so we are not looking for an antonym here. So this is gone and shallow and well-mannered again, not really related. So shallow, the synonym is superficial. Okay, let's take a look at the next one, a protagonist. Now, um, you know, usually when we watch movies, Bollywood movies, there's a protagonist who fights the villain and wins at the end of the movie. Usually this is what happens. So what do you think a protagonist means? So a protagonist is the leading character. It could be the leading character in a story, basically. Okay, villain, you can say it's kind of opposite. Uh, polite and rude are not really related to this word protagonist, okay? So protagonist is used for a character uh, who leads, okay? Who's the leading character of a movie or a story. Okay, here are the next three words that we are going to discuss. The first one is ludicrous. So we say it's a ludicrous idea. Right now going out without a mask is a ludicrous idea. So the meaning of this word is foolish 
okay so ludicrous basically means ridiculous you can say stupid so uh, the closest word and meaning is foolish intelligent is not related at all weird is something that is strange or unusual so when we say stupid and strange unusual again not really related and various again different so not really related okay let's talk about the fifth one alacrity so uh, for example i have a niece okay and i decided that i'll give her some money on her birthday instead of buying her a gift this time and she accepted that money with great alacrity so it, it, she accepted it with like you know a lot of eagerness and she accepted it immediately so this is the synonym eagerness okay alacrity is like speed and eagerness when you do something willingly when you do something quickly you can say alacrity now let's talk about the other words here the first one is frugality so frugal is also an adjective so frugal means somebody who is very economical okay a person who thinks a lot while spending money somebody who is very careful with money so frugality is basically being careful about money okay so if you are somebody who follows uh, you know budget strictly who knows how much to spend and you do not like exceed your budget you can say that you are a frugal person okay right the next one is penury so penury basically means poverty okay so the quality of being extremely poor so remember this so that i think it will be easier to remember and wisdom again you know the quality of being wise having good judgment so not really related to alacrity right here's our sixth word tepid now uh, you know when you have a sore throat or when you have a cold and cough uh, you feel like having drinks which are quite tepid so something which is not extremely hot and something which is not very cold also so something that is lukewarm that is the meaning of this word so tepid means lukewarm so remember if you want to remember tepid you can remember tepid water okay another use of tepid is uh, let's say you have organized an event in your college and you did not get a great response but it wasn't too bad also so you you can say that we got a tepid response okay so uh, not great and not too bad as well so that is tepid all right so the first word here is curt does anybody know what this word means so curt is somebody who is rude because their responses are very short okay so for example if somebody asks me ma'am can you explain this word again uh, and i say no so i am being curt okay so because sometimes you are very you know your responses are very short you come across rude so that is called being curt uh narrow is something that we know and witty is somebody who has a very good sense of humor you know a person who is quite smart and has quite funny very good sense of humor okay let's go to the next three words that we are going to discuss now the first word here is nostrum have you heard of this word before all right so nostrum is something so imagine that uh, you know now don't imagine actually i am not a doctor right i am an english teacher but uh, if i combine a medicine if i put together a couple of things and make a medicine that medicine can be called a nostrum okay so a nostrum is basically a medicine prepared by an unqualified person okay a uh, nostrum can also be used for uh you know an idea to solve a problem so let's say we have a problem and we have an idea to solve the problem but that idea is not really good so that idea can also be called a nostrum so a solution which is not really good or a medicine which is prepared by an unqualified person that's the meaning so take a look at the options now which option do you think is the closest in meaning so potion okay uh, potion is a drink a combination of things so potion is the closest in meaning here so this that's the synonym all right now the first word here prudent prudent means wise okay terse do you remember we discussed this word curt now this is a synonym okay terse is somebody who is uh, 
quite short in responses whose responses are quite short and that is why the person comes across rude so that's terse so terse and curt are synonyms and dizzy is something that you know so uh, not really synonyms not really related at all okay let's go to the next word that we have the word is succinct so uh, when you write emails when you you know uh, practice business communication you need to be succinct okay you can't write very lengthy things you can't write too many details so the meaning of succinct is concise this is the correct option something that is brief okay crisp concise okay so lengthy is actually the antonym of succinct and lenient as all of you know somebody who is not strict somebody who is sort of kind flexible not strict okay right here is the next word that we are going to discuss it is eccentric now uh, you must have often heard people saying somebody has an eccentric behavior or an eccentric trait taste what does it mean eccentric is basically something that is unusual not common okay so the closest word here is strange uh let's take a look at the options and what they mean this one sickly means something which is extremely sweet okay you put too much tea in your sugar you can say the tea tastes sickly bad okay the next one is temperate so temperate is basically mild or moderate <clears throat> you can use this word to describe the weather you can also use this word to talk about the uh, <clears throat> personality of a, a person okay so when you say that okay i eat fried foods but i'm quite temperate about it so i do eat them and i do enjoy them but i don't eat them a lot okay in limit all right here the next one is morsel morsel basically is a small portion of food so how in hindi we say a nivala okay a small portion of food that's morsel okay the next three words everyone and the first word is abate the original word that we have is abate so abate basically i'll give you an example see these days all of us have mobile phones right so uh, the need of having a line line phone in the house has really abated okay so it means it has decreased so the meaning of abate is uh, it can you know use it can it can be used with the meaning of uh, you know decreasing or to become less severe so if you are talking about a situation or a problem that has become less severe okay so you can say it has abated all right now this first word soar is basically to go up okay so you can say increase or rise that is the meaning this is a word that is very often used when we talk about uh, you know sales of a particular company when you are describing graphs this is a very commonly used word okay uh, derive is to get from something so when you learn the roots of words or the origin of words you will use this word a lot so a particular word is derived from this language so it is taken from this language okay the next one is a base a base is basically to make somebody feel ashamed okay so if i have to use it in a sentence i can say we should never behave in a way that we will abase our parents so we will make them feel ashamed okay and the last one is dwindle so dwindle also means to reduce you know gradually to decrease gradually so this is our answer okay right let's uh, go to the next question insolent take a look at the options everyone and see if you know the meaning if you can uh, check the correct answer let me tell you the meaning of this word let's see if that helps so insolent basically means rude disrespectful okay now stocky is a word which we use to talk about somebody's physical appearance okay a stocky person is basically a person who is broad who is on the heavier side okay so this and insolent is completely they are not related so this is gone then we have impertinent impertinent also means rude or disrespectful so this is our answer okay stringent is somebody who is strict 
so again not really connected and gregarious is somebody who is very social you know if you have if you know somebody who you have a friend or a cousin who's extremely social very friendly you can say that the person is gregarious okay always remember everyone as i as we said you know in the beginning whenever you learn these new words try to use them in sentences immediately so that you will remember them so when we say gregarious somebody is gregarious think about your friend circle think about your family members we always have people around us who are very friendly and they love to meet new people so for them rather than just you know using the same words like social or sociable start using this word so that you remember it okay similarly if you have somebody in your family who is uh, you know a little on the broad side heavier side so you can say that he is a stocky person he is stocky okay so you'll remember this word that way okay right the next word that we are going to talk about is relegate now relegate is basically to give an inferior rank to somebody now take a look at the options what do you think the word could mean so really so if i'm saying relegate is to give a give an inferior rank to somebody promote can definitely not be the answer because it's exactly you know it's an antonym opposite okay so the correct answer is this lower restrict is not really related and amalgamate is to combine okay so not really relate okay here are the next three words that we are going to discuss now this word is forerunner any idea what this word means let me give you an example and let's see if we can figure out the meaning okay so when you see clouds in the sky when the sky is very cloudy it's a forerunner of a rainfall so it tells you it indicates that now there's going to be rainfall okay so forerunner is basically you know something that indicates the beginning of something else okay it suggests that something else will happen will begin so take a look at these words now this is slightly confusing everyone so the first option that we have is pioneer so a pioneer is a person who usually is the first one to do something a person perhaps who you know develops something for the like the first one to develop something or the first one to do something now pioneer and forerunner are they really related here we are saying that this this person or this thing when you say something is a forerunner brings the news of something happening something coming and this is somebody who does something for you know the first one to do something so not really related everyone harbinger is the uh, word that we are looking for so harbinger also is an indicator of something happening all right now trail blazer in fact if you take a look at these words trail blazer and innovator they are the synonyms of pioneer so all the three words these three words are related okay all right uh the next word that we are going to talk about is vicarious uh now vicarious is something that uh you explain through somebody else's experience sorry that you experience through somebody else's uh feelings okay uh so when you read about somebody else's experience or when you uh you know hear about somebody ex else's experience and then you imagine how those things could be then you can say that that thing or that feeling could be vicarious so something that you have not experienced okay you have heard or you have seen somebody else experience that thing so that is vicarious for you okay so insolvent here this word means bankrupt somebody who cannot pay his debts so tell me if this these two words are related they are not related so this is gone okay as i said vicarious is something that you have not experienced directly so this is the correct uh, answer this is a synonym indirect vicious is somebody who is you know who has bad intentions or who is cruel okay so not really related so if you want to have an example of vicious if you watch these hindi serials or hindi movies okay or uh, think of all the villains that you have seen okay all of them are vicious okay and the last one empirical empirical is something which is based on practical knowledge uh, you know more than theoretical knowledge so something that comes out of experience so more of a practical thing 
okay so uh, that is again not the correct answer right let's go to the next word that we are going to have so it is formless something that does not have a form something that does not have a definite shape take a look at these words everyone and see if you can you know uh, eliminate certain words immediately now this word is quite easy so we can take a look at the options and uh, you will realize that option c and d can be immediately eliminated because if i'm saying formless is something that does not have a definite shape again this is definitely not the answer and then option d is aesthetic aesthetic is something that is uh, you know beautiful pleasing to the eye so something that does not have a shape and something that is aesthetic beautiful not really related so let's think about these two words now this first word amorphous amorphous is the correct answer this is the synonym because amorphous means something that does not have a definite shape or a form okay this the second word here vociferous vociferous is used for people who express their opinions very strongly and very loudly okay so i'll just write a short meaning here so always remember vociferous is people who experience their uh, feelings or their opinions very vehemently very strongly and very loudly it's used for such people all right let's take a look at the next three words that we have Uh, so the sixteenth word that we are going to talk about is tenacity. Um, so if you want to achieve a goal that is very difficult, now mission, you know, that is our mission CAT twenty twenty. So if we want to achieve it, we'll have to have a lot of tenacity. So determination is the meaning. Ah, uh, you can also say, you know, the grip of something. So that also can be the meaning of tenacity. The second word here, factotum. factotum is an employee who can do all kinds of work okay similarity uh, i think you know and similarity is not not a word and vicinity is the area that you have nearby so again this is not the correct option okay let's go to the 17th one audacity now audacity uh, you know if you look at the literal meaning of the word it is willingness to take risks okay but it can also be used with the meaning actually uh, you know when we talk about day to day conversations often we use it with the meaning of rude behavior so rude or disrespectful behavior or audacity so now take a look at the meanings uh, the options everyone the first one is vigor vigor is energy right physical health energy enthusiasm so this is not the answer impudence is rudeness so this could be the our answer courtesy is politeness so again this is not the answer and fallacy is a mistaken belief you know it's a false belief so this is not the answer so the correct option is impudence okay let's go to the next word that we have acrid okay now acrid let me give you an example imagine that you were boiling milk and you forgot you know you put it on the gas and you forgot it and the milk completely got burnt and now your house is filled with this acrid smell okay so acrid basically is usually used to talk about taste or smell that is quite pungent you know bitter pungent harsh so now take a look at this uh, these options uh, bitter possible that is actually the answer that we have And then the second one is gloomy gloomy is you know quite dark and dull so when you feel sad you feel dark and dull you can use this word gloomy hilarious extremely funny not possible and deleterious is some something that can be harmful okay so or something that can cause damage okay i'll just write this word the meaning of this word all right let's go ahead everyone right here are the next three words that we are going to discuss uh, the 19th word is stigma now uh, let me use it in an example okay 
so in a society specifically if somebody uh, has been to jail for any reason there's quite a lot of stigma attached to it so you know society does not look at it look at the person in the same way okay so it is sort of shameful it's a disgrace to that person so this is the correct answer stigma the synonym is disgrace okay so if you actually look at the first option stigma and honor honor is the antonym of stigma okay it's exactly opposite in meaning the second option valor valor means bravery or courage and the last option nimble nimble is agile you know something that is very quick uh, and nimble can be used for you know somebody who is quick in their movements or even in their thinking okay right here's the next word which operative now um okay so it is okay to give you know it is okay to criticize somebody but you shouldn't be vituperative about it so vituperative is something that is very harsh now take a look at the uh, options and i'll tell you the other meaning of the word like closely related meaning of the word as well this first option upbraid is basically to criticize somebody or to find faults with somebody okay you can also say criticize benevolent is somebody who is very kind helpful abusive is the word that we are looking for here so vituperative means harsh or abusive and cacophonic also means harsh but this is directly related to sound okay so this we are not talking about feeling or meaning it is you know a sound which is very harsh something that uh, is bothering you so that is cacophonic okay let's go to the next word that we have the next word is furious all right so um i often like people who are quite uh, you know blunt with what they feel i don't like people who give furious compliments so furious means a uh, fake basically something which is not real something that is fake or false and all right now take a look at the first option imaginary imagine he is not exactly you know similar to spurious because this means fake or false okay so this is not the correct answer if we talk about authentic this is an antonym of spurious okay the next one is factitious now factitious is something that is fake or false so this is our correct answer this is the synonym that we are looking for and the last one is banal okay so banal is something which is quite ordinary or boring so basically things which are very common okay cliche is the word that we use for such things so when things are very common and cliche we can say that you know it is banal so if you take a look at these songs these days and you know every song almost has the same words so same banal words are used in every other song okay that's how you can use the word right let's go ahead um so the next word is auger okay so my friend started a business last month and you know in the first month itself uh, she could break even so she in you know she got back everything that, that she had invested so that augurs well so it indicates okay that the business is going to do well another word that is so like that's the synonym of augur that you need to remember is portent so augur basically means that uh, you know to be a signal of something good or bad uh augur means to predict or to indicate that something good or bad will happen now good or bad depends on the sentence in which the word is used okay take let's take a look at the options so that you know if you are if there are any new words we'll get familiar with them also yeah the first one is speculate so speculate is basically guess so you know when there's a mystery or uh if you remember you know i think some years ago there was this flight that went missing and there were a lot of speculations related to what happened to that flight so speculate is to guess right elucidate basically means to explain so exactly the same meaning so when we say explain reasons you can say elucidate reasons okay originate you know the word right the next word is blasphemy 
Now, blasphemy is when you say or do something that is disrespectful to God or religion. Okay, let's take a look at the options and let's see if we can figure out which is the synonym. So, the first one is mundane. Uh, you must have read this word a lot in articles and all everyone. When we say, uh, you know, these are mundane activities. So, boring basically. Every day, boring, very common. Okay, dull. That is the meaning. Reverence is respect. Okay, so reverence is actually an antonym here. Profanity is the word that we are looking for. Profanity also means respect, disrespectful behavior, you know, against God or religion. And hostility is unfriendly behavior. So, hostility is a general term and not, uh, you know, specifically, it is not specifically related to God or religion. So, that is why we cannot go with this option here. Right? Let's go to the next one, conspicuous. Now, conspicuous is something that is absolutely clear. Okay? Take a look at these words. I think again you will have some options which you can directly eliminate. So if you are saying conspicuous is something that is absolutely clear. Uh, of course blur is not the answer. So blur is an antonym. So this is gone. Genius is also not the answer. Do you know this word everyone? Malicious. Malicious who is again cruel. Somebody who has bad intentions. Again think of the villains that you have seen in movies. So they often have malicious intentions okay and the second one is vivid vivid means clear so this is the synonym of conspicuous great now here are the next three words that we are going to talk about the first word is eulogy so eulogy is basically a speech uh, okay or writing that is made in praise after and eulogy is after uh, somebody's death okay it is made usually after somebody dies so take a look at these options it is quite clear the synonym is the first option phrase the second one could be an antonym even this one taunt is a sarcastic comment okay um, and satire again it's a funny commentary on a present situation so it's not really related okay now the next one is yori okay the, the word is pronounced as yori now, how do you remember this? If you have watched horror movies, so this could be the, you know, cue to remember the meaning of Yori. Yori is basically something that is, that can be quite scary, quite frightening or strange. Okay, so uh, anything that sort of, you know, gives you the supernatural presence feeling, that could be something Yori. So, look at the first one. The first one is weary. Weary means tired. Very tired. Okay. So, think of, uh, you know, a travel in the train for more than 12 hours or 13 uh, hours. So, after that, you feel weary. Or if you have had a long day at work, if you've worked for more than 10, 12 hours, after you come home, you feel weary. Extremely tired. The next one is spooky. So, this is the synonym. Okay. Uh, option C is bizarre. Bizarre means something that is strange, but strange in a very unusual way, okay? So, I'll give you an example of bizarre. So, you know, um, I think a couple of years ago, I found out that there are some parts of the world uh, where people also eat insects and people quite enjoy dishes made out of insects and I thought it was quite bizarre. It was quite unusual and strange, strange, okay? And the last word that we have is savory. <clears throat> Savory is basically used to describe the taste of food. So, to give you a very simple example, see, when we have Indian food, we often categorize it in, you know, two uh, sort of uh, ways. So, we have like sweets and we have spicy food. But uh, if you talk about something like pizza, now pizza is essentially not spicy, right? Or when you talk about french fries or mac and cheese, you know, pasta. So, these are savory dishes, okay? So, if you talk about like western food, these are the two categories. So, you have desserts or sweet and you have savory, okay? Something that is not sweet. Alright, the next word that we are going to talk about is triumphant. Now, I think most of you will know this word triumph. 
So triumph means victory. This is a noun. So triumphant means somebody who is victorious. Okay. Uh, now vanquished is the antonym. Vanquished means defeated. Right. Look at option C. Timid. Now timid uh, can be used for a person who has no courage. So you will often see that there are people, you know, in a class, there are students who are very timid and even if they have doubts or if they have not understood something, they don't ask the teacher. So for such students, you can use the word timid. All right. And now uh, you can actually say that brazen is quite opposite timid. So brazen is somebody who is very bold. Okay. And you can also say that almost shameless, extremely bold and almost shameless to that point. Okay. Right. So here are the last three words that we are going to discuss in this session, everyone. The first word is vilify. Uh, vilify means to criticize somebody, to say or, you know, write bad things about somebody. Take a look at the words and uh, tell me if there are any options that you can eliminate. If you look at the third option, everyone, torment. Torment is basically torture, physical or mental torture. So this is not related. So this word that we have here is criticize. Yeah. Okay. And this word, the last one, trivialize. So there's this adjective trivial. Trivial is something which is not very important. Okay. Common or unimportant. So trivialize is when you make something less important. Okay, so when you say that, you know, mental health, or mental health issues are a serious problem these days and we should not trivialize them. So we should not make them less important. So that's the meaning of trivialize. So these two options are clearly uh, gone. Okay, let's talk about denigrate and lionize. Lionize is used when you treat somebody like a celebrity, you know, when you praise somebody a lot, say very nice things about them. So this is actually the antonym of uh, vilify. Okay, and denigrate is the synonym, synonym that we are looking for. So, that denigrate also means to criticize. All right. The next word here is abnegation. Now, abnegation basically means to reject. Now, what do you reject? Usually, abnegation is used when you reject power or you reject an authority uh, that you have. Okay, take a look at these options here, everyone. Now, the first option is acceptance. When we are saying abnegation is reject, this is clearly not the answer. This is the antonym. So, this is gone. Again, approval has completely different meaning. So, gone. Abdication. Uh, abdication also means to give up power. Okay. So, uh, this could be the answer. So, let's keep this option in. And the last option is abduction. So, abduction is to take somebody forcefully away. Okay. So, like kidnap. So again, not the correct option. So the correct option here is abdication. Abdication is especially used when a king gives up his or his throne. So he abdicated his throne. That's how you use the word. Okay. And the last one is lingua franca. So lingua, lingua franca is used for a language which is like a common language for people who, uh, you know, otherwise speak different languages. So, actually, it is used for English, this term, because see, English is spoken in so many countries and, you know, so many people with different cultural backgrounds speak English. They all have their different languages. So, English is the lingua franca. It's the common language spoken by uh, different people. Right. Complex is something that is difficult or complicated. So, this is not our answer. Then the second one is articulate. Articulate is an adjective, everyone, and it is used for a person who expresses his or her opinions very clearly. Okay, and melancholy is sort of sadness, dullness. Okay, so right. So we are done for today, everyone. Uh, even after the session, as I said, you'll be able to get the material of this session. So please revise these words. Uh, we have learned a lot of words and I, I'm sure all of you have learned at least, you know, 35 to 40 new words if you knew some of them already. 
okay so revise them and as i said use them in your sentences so that you remember them for a very long time okay right so if you want to keep learning things like these please take up the unacademy subscription uh, when you go to the unacademy plus platform you will also get a mock test series which will help you a lot it will give you a lot of practice uh, then you will also get to see the leaderboard and you'll see uh, how many people are answering questions correctly who is the student who is answering most of the questions correctly you will also get to uh, interact with your faculty more so your faculty can address your doubts personally and you will also get a lot more facilities than these okay how to subscribe to an academy plus you just need to get the app on your phone download it on your phone once you are done with that go to plus select this option select your course which is cat everyone and then you can just start learning okay right so as i told you in the beginning you can go for the one year plan or the two year plan because you know the fees that they're charging are really very reasonable so the one year plan comes at 15750 rupees and the two year plan comes at 18900 rupees if you use this code apurva that is there on your screens uh, you will get a further 10% discount okay so please use this code right if uh, you your family members friends or anybody that you know are preparing for any of these exams please ask them to check these courses on an academy and do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel an academy cat for mba okay also i am sure you want the material of this session because we've learned a lot of new words so please follow us on telegram at cat for mba and press the bell icon on youtube so that every time there is a new session you will never miss it you will get a notification of it okay and we'll keep learning interesting things like these everyone and that's it for today see you take care